ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to a brief guide for the scrapper class in Lost Ark. We're going over every class that's going to be in the Western European and North American release, the Western release. Um, and these guides are going to be very simple, um, just, just to basics. We're going to talk about the mechanics of the class, the identity, the awakenings, the abilities, how they function and how they fit into the game. But I will not be getting into uh, meta, how they're played in current tier, because there's a little bit of difference between the classes in uh, Russia, Japan, and Korea. And I'm guessing there's going to be differences um, in Western Europe and North America as well. And a lot of this, since the game is new, if you're just getting into it um, from a Western, as a Western player, it should just be treated as, hey, I'm going to get in, get my feet wet, figure out what's going on, uh, try some classes out and all that. So I, these guys are going to be very high level synopsis. But maybe it's enough to help you figure out what class you want to play, what class you want to main, and if the classes sound interesting to you. But first, if you have any questions or comments for me, you'll find me live every day on twitch.tv forward slash drybear. Who knows? I might even be streaming right now. So today we're working with the Scrapper, who is one of the martial artists. She carries uh, heavy gauntlets and to me actually has one of the coolest looks in the game because I just love the idea of having two big, heavy meaty weapons um, built into that. So uh, we're gonna go through the basic attack, which for some classes isn't ever used. You may not ever see a basic attack, but it helps add the, the flair of the character. So we kind of show it off there. Her movement ability is, um, I think the only, maybe Gunslinger is the other one. There's two stages to it. So you can use a simple dash, which is a short dash. Um, and you can see that it goes on cooldown if I wait a little bit there. So she can use it for one dash, and it goes on cooldown for five seconds, or you can use two dashes and it goes on cooldown for 10 seconds. So it kind of, it's a single cooldown, but it's shorter if you only use one. Um, and I think her and the gunslinger are the only two in the game um, that I'm aware of, uh, at least for the initial launch of North America and, and Western Europe, that can use a double uh, movement. So you can actually go around corners, which is pretty cool. Um, and if you decide to, if you just want a short dash, you can incur a shorter cooldown, uh, which is a nice option, whereas most classes have to pay the full eight to 10 seconds. Um, maybe even Gunlance is the only one that has a five second cooldown that could be that short. So pretty cool. What is the identity for the class? So the identity is a, a passive or a mechanic set that defines the class itself. The Scrapper has their uh, their energy meter. It's a dual resource system. You can see it down here at the bottom. Um, it has yellow skills, which are your stamina. So when you use those, it uses up the yellow bar, which slowly regenerates. And then when you build up enough of your green, uh, the green bar here, you can spend this, which is called shock um, in, in this region. It may change the name when it comes to Western, uh, but then your green abilities become available. That is a, um, it's almost like a rage resource. It builds up and you can store it and then your yellow builds up. So just like if you've ever played a dual resource class in any RPG game, you enter this sort of rhythm where you're using yellow abilities to build up your green energy when you have too much shock energy, you want to spend it. So the idea is to make sure that this right here that's happening right now never happens. You never want to be fully maxed on your energy. You want to make sure this is always regenerating. Um, and you also never want to be full up on shock without spending it. Um, so you're kind of moving between those. Now, if you like high technical classes that have a lot of nuance and subtle detail to how they work, um, Scrapper is one of those because if it's not as rote as other classes in their rotation, you can actually do a lot of things to move yourself around as you do these. Um, deciding whether you're going to spend energy or generate shock energy has some really cool nuance that goes into it as well. And there are certain abilities like this one. Death Sentence is, is probably one of the most important abilities for Scrapper. Um, it spends all of your shock, your spirit energy or shock energy at once to do a frontal attack and uh, based on how much you consume, um, it will do more damage. So that's kind of like the one of the ones you want that really is like a linchpin for your builds. Uh, but obviously there are far more abilities in the kit that you can choose from. You have uh, a good number of shock energy abilities to choose from and a good number of builders. So your builders and spenders are there. Um, when it comes to melee, they are one of the slower melees. So positioning is big for the scrapper. Um, although they do have a very useful dash, a lot of times they have, you know, you can see even with the descendants here, I have to pay that whole cost there. And actually, I think one of the biggest downsides for Scrapper is that Death Sentence itself, if we look at it, um, only has stagger immunity, which means if you get CC'd during your Death Sentence, you can lose your big damage burst. 
um, which can be very punishing, but it's also very rewarding when you get it right. So if you build up, you know, all of your shock energy, you can spend all that there. You see a full shock energy and you go for a back attack with that. Do some serious damage. Um, you can dump that in there. Um, in PvP, it can be a very, very high level skill set to be able to build your energy without losing it. Um, position yourself properly as a melee class and then get up on someone and be able to use your shock spenders um, properly without getting interrupted. But I think one of the most, and honestly, I think if you ask anyone in Korea, uh, they'll tell you that the scrapper is probably the the golden standard for balance. I think the scrapper, as far as I can tell, in the last three years of the game has always been in a very balanced spot. Um, very, you know, there's, there's, there's positive and negatives. There's costs that you pay, but there's big payoffs. Um, I think overall, it's a very, very straightforward and fun class to get into with a lot of depth if you want to go further and further. So Scrapper's super cool in that way. Uh, one of my favorite classes I will be having, if it's not my main, it's going to be one of my alts because I think they're super fun and satisfying. Um, we can go over the, uh, the ultimates here. So you have two ultimates, Peerless Dragon King. These are your awakening skills and transcend transcendental blow. Um, I think most of the time, Peerless Dragon King is the one that gets used the most, uh, but there are encounters and in PvP that can be very situational. But this is the this is the uh, the Peerless Dragon King. You get a targeter, you can place it, wind up, slam, two dragons come out, and you get big damage out. I think the big reason people end up using this one more than the other Awakening, if we do Transcendental Blow, you can place this down. You can see how long that takes to wind up. It's great damage. Uh, very useful if you think you can get it off, but it just, standing still in most encounters for that long can be rough. You do have a uh, super um, armor all, um, but I think just in general, people like being able to use from a from a range without so much wind up there uh, to get that in there, but they're both useful for their own, own purposes um, and pretty satisfying there. And lastly, for the scrapper, let's go over the engravings. Um, the engravings is a is a, a, another modifying system in the game on top of gems and your ability stones and your gear, tripods, all that. Um, but the reason I want to cover this on a very high level for each class is a separate from these general engravings that you have that can make a modifications to your character and how it plays. Each class has their own class engravings. And these are, for some classes, just power boosts. For a lot of classes, they can be defining details for their class that change them completely um, to a different play style or to a different um, strategy of design and how that character functions. So the two options you have for Scrapper are Shock Regeneration and Taijutsu. Um, and you can definitely see the difference between these. For Shock Regeneration, we can just read it. Damage of Spirit Skills, which is your green resource, is increased by 10%. Uh, and then the Scrapper restores 2% of your maximum shock energy every second. So even just the passive itself increases the damage you deal with your green abilities. But when you have this engraving equipped, you now generate your green resource um, passively over time. So if you're running kind of like a more and what, what you'll do then, um, which can be part of the def definition, you can see that right now I'm running a, a split build, which is four yellow um, and four green, which means that I use, you know, my, my builders to get green resource and I use, I use that green resources to spend. However, if you're running with, uh, that shock regeneration engraving, you'll be able to regenerate generally more shock energy. So what you'll see people doing with scrappers is they'll start running maybe three builders and five spenders, or in some cases, two builders and six spenders because they're getting a lot more shock energy over time, that you'll, you get less situations where you don't have any builders necessary to get more shock energy, the green resource. Um, so it, it can allow you to have more spenders in your build because you have that regeneration. Um, so that can be a super different play style um, based on how you build between the two abilities. And then Taijutsu, the, the speed of gradual recovery of key energy is increased by 300%, that's your yellow resource. And the damage of key skills is increased by 30%. Um, and your spirit skill damage is reduced by 30%. So it's kind of like the reverse of shock regeneration. Taijutsu now focuses more on builders, increases the uh, the recovery speed, so your yellow resource comes up faster, um, and the damage of your yellow resource abilities or builders goes up as well. And so reverse from the shock regeneration, in many cases, you'll see people that run this. I think shock regeneration is more popular, but 
usually they're pretty good about balancing between the two class engravings and making so they're both interesting options um, and viable in, in, in most content. Um, you'll see people with more builders, um, and some of these are really cool, right? We can put on Earthquake as one of my favorites. Uh, you can just do stuff like that, right? And you can modify these to do more damage. And then you maybe have five builders and three spenders or six builders and two spenders. And you can see based on what engraving, it will modify how you use your class. So those are the two that are available to you. And I think that's basically it for Scrapper. They're not overly complicated to use. There's enough depth there to keep you going. But if you really want something that is very bruiser-like, that gives you a very satisfying result. I think a lot of these abilities feel really good to use. This one is one of my favorites. She just slams the ground, breaks up rocks. The effects are good. The sounds are good. She is one of the more grunty classes, so you'll hear a lot of vocals from her. Um, but I think overall, super satisfying. A good medium speed, um, relatively tanky class um, that has really good payoff um, and, and feels like a very chunky melee. So that's Scrapper for Lost Ark. Um, and we're going to kind of just round it out there and we'll, we'll move on to the next one. If you enjoyed yourself today, leave a like down below. You can support me and my work on Patreon and view Patreon exclusive content link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.